Hey guys, so this week I am doing a grocery haul, but it's gonna be a little different because this week I'm gonna try being on a vegetarian diet. So everything in this grocery haul is gonna be vegetarian. And I'm not doing this for any reason other than I just wanted to try it. And I'm also making a what I eat in a week as a vegetarian as well. So this is just the grocery haul portion. And then the next video is gonna be what I eat in a week as a vegetarian. I've always wanted to go vegetarian, but I've just been like, too scared now i think it's the perfect chance to do that just because i feel like i'm in the right mindset and feel like i've studied enough to know how to get enough protein and everything i need in my diet so yeah let's go upstairs and right now i'm just going to show you what i got for groceries the first thing i got was a bag of organic navel oranges for juicing. I got a bag of lemons. I got these three little wellness shots. I just got a ginger one, vitamin C, and a zinc and vitamin D. So I just thought these would be good to take throughout the week. I got five lar bars because I love eating these for snacks and they have like five ingredients which is amazing. So I love those. I got some apples, bananas, mushrooms, tomatoes. I got these tomatoes because I want to try to make that feta pasta that everyone's making from TikTok. So I got those. I got some peppers. I like getting them in the three pack just because it's cheaper and easier. So I got an orange, yellow, and red bell pepper. Two avocados. Some carrot chips cauliflower because you can imitate a lot with cauliflower like rice chicken i really want to try to make the cauliflower buffalo bites that mock like buffalo chicken because i feel like that's a really good substitute for this week since i am going vegetarian i got a zucchini asparagus and celery the zucchini and asparagus are for a stir fry i'm gonna make and the celery is for juicing i got some broccoli microgreens because i've been reading a lot about microgreens and they're so good for you and have a ton of nutrients so i really recommend looking into these so I got a kale Caesar chopped salad and an Asian inspired chopped salad. These are just going to be some easy lunches I can have this week with no meat in them. <laughs> and then we just have some baby arugula, um, some Beyond Meatballs because I wanted to try at least one plant-based meat. So I decided to have these just because I can do whatever I want with them. I can make ground beef or I can just have meatballs with spaghetti. They do have 19 grams of plant protein. So I'm really happy I got these and I can't wait to try these. And then I got my favorite bagels from One Mighty Mill. They're just everything bagels. My tea that I drink every single night before bed. It's stress relief tea. I love this. And then I just got some whole grain rice. And then I got some of this because I heard that you can substitute the chicken in the tikka masala. Don't know how to say that, but I heard you can substitute the chicken with chickpeas. So I'm definitely going to try this this week. That would be so good. I got some more tomato paste because every week I honestly make that vodka pasta because I'm addicted and it's so good. And then I got calcium, magnesium, zinc, and vitamin D vitamin because I feel like... I don't know, I really need this. I already take vitamin D, but I've really been wanting to take magnesium. But I saw they had a mix of all three of these, so I decided to pick this up. And then I got some edible brownie batter, but it's not what you think, or maybe it is what you think. It's made of chickpeas. And oh my God, this looks so good. I cannot wait to try this. And then I got some coconut aminos because like I said, I'm gonna make a stir fry this week. And if you just look, there's 90 milligrams of sodium, which is crazy. And look at the ingredients. This is way better for you than soy sauce by far. So I picked that up. And then there is this pack of good soap at the checkout. So I decided to pick it up. And then I got my favorite waters, just water. I love how they come in a carton instead of like a plastic bottle. I got my favorite oat milk, the Oatly oat milk. I got some cat food for my cat. Kind of looks like my cat, so I got it. It's salmon and pea. All right, then I got the feta cheese. You're supposed to get a feta block, but they were sold at a feta block, so I just settled for the crumbled feta cheese. Hopefully it still works the same. I got some cream cheese spread for my bagels, and then I got some heavy whipping cream for my vodka pasta. 
And then I just picked up this Ben & Jerry's mint chocolate cookie non-dairy ice cream. It was on sale, so I decided to try it. All right, so that's everything I got for this week's grocery haul. And now let's move on to the fridge tour. So up top, I just have my drinks like Celsius, LaCroix, my just water, coconut water, my three little wellness shots, and the vegetables I just cut up. Down here, I just have some random vegetables, the extra carrots, mushrooms, the peppers, and a zucchini. Over here, I just have all my lemons and one lime, and a little lemon container in case I wanted to store half of a lemon. I have some asparagus, and then my cherry tomatoes. Down here, I just have all my greens. I just have my spinach, arugula, um, my broccoli microgreens, and my salads that I got. In back, I just have my Beyond Meatballs, and behind that is the soups that I bought last week. My cauliflower, celery, and here I have a ton of cheese. Starting off, we have mozzarella, some taco cheese, taco cheese in the back, some crumbled feta, parmesan, and then just some cheese wedges in the back. Down here, I have my oranges and apples. And then over here, I have my onions. I like both red and yellow onions, so I have both of them. And again, I have this container in case I want to store half of an onion. That way you don't have to waste a plastic bag. All right, and then up here, I just have butter, my brownie batter hummus, regular hummus, cream cheese, some homemade whipped cream from Whole Foods. It was so good on Valentine's Day. We ate it with strawberries. Some coconut aminos, chai tea concentrate, my heavy cream for my vodka pasta my favorite oat milk the oatly oat milk down here i've showed this all before but it's just all the basics apple cider vinegar pickles garlic soy sauce ketchup maple syrup and then down here just some random wines and some baking soda i explained in my last video that i watch a lot of fridge tours and almost everyone had a baking soda in their fridge just to help with the odor, so I added one to mine. So that is the fridge for this week.